world needs CIS because software ships insecure. There's a concept in information security known as attack surface. Basically, the more things you have exposed, the more potential avenues there are into that device or that technology. Our CIS benchmarks are consensus-based best practices built by a volunteer community. CIS benchmarks are important because when folks download a given application or install an operating system, by default, everything is on. Ports are open, application services are running. Benchmarks allow you to make sure that you lock down those ports that are unnecessary and those applications that are unneeded that could provide an open vulnerability for an attacker to come in and take over a system. One of the things that makes benchmarks so important is that if you look at most any of the regulatory frameworks, whether it be PCI, HIPAA, SOX, FedRAMP, they all insist and you are audited to show that you are in compliance with certain configuration checklists and benchmarks is one of them. You need to have secure configurations and they point to CIS as the standard. Cloud Checker, not only do we use CIS benchmarks externally, but we use them internally as well. Uh, we're actually going through the process of becoming FedRAMP compliant and that's because a lot of our business is done in the public sector for government. And so what we have done is we use CIS benchmarks, both level one and level two internally with our own security team to provide a report of here's what you're doing, here's what you should be doing, and here's how to fix it. CIS is a large portion of how we show that information, describe it to the end user. We also use other CIS tools to allow us to move faster in deploying and becoming compliant for FedRAMP as well. So our editors are kind of spread across the world, the United States, Europe, Asia, Australia, uh, India. And even larger than that, we have the generalized community that can exist anywhere in the world, and they can provide feedback at any given time, you know, if they think a recommendation or the benchmark have something that needs to be fixed or added to it. The fact that the download portion of the benchmarks lives alongside the community feedback outlet made it very easy for me to pull the information that's applicable to myself and my organization and then turn that around and help your organization because that takes the burden off of you of having to do that particular work because they're doing most of the work for you. So there are two ways really that you can become compliant with the benchmarks. You can download the PDFs and manually implement the configuration settings, or you can become a Secure Suite member and then you have access to all of the automated tools like Syscat and remediation kits that will help you to automatically implement the configurations. The bottom line is that we provide the guidance, the knowledge, and the tools to secure those systems.